everyone and welcome back to Mariana Mass Books. My name is Mariana and today we are here with day 3 of this year's tag mass. <laughs> and today I am going to do the book design tag. The book design tag was created by the Babbling Bee and I was tagged to do it by Vicky at the Teacup Storyteller. I was so glad when I saw she tagged me because I love these types of tags. I don't know if I had told you guys before, but I am a graphic designer. That is why what I studied in university. So I love any tag related to the design of the covers or the design of the books. I really love books not only because of their content, but I also love books as objects as well. And so I love these types of tags. But I'm not going to make make it super long um, I'm going to get on right with the questions so question number one is a book a book you bought primarily or completely because of the cover this was a hard question for me funnily enough because even if I'm a graphic designer and I love as I said books as objects and I love um, the book covers I am not likely to buy a book only because of its cover, mostly because of budget reasons. <laughs> if I had all the budget in the world, I would be buying books for their beauty left and right. So that is one reason, but also because I don't only look at the cover. When, when I talk about the beauty of the book, I not only mean the cover, I mean the whole editorial design. What is the font that what it was used, the layout in the inside, the type of paper, um, ev everything, ev everything in the editorial design. A book can have a great cover, but maybe it's not a well-designed book and then I won't like it. So wh what I look at is the whole book. Um, but I do have an answer. I was looking at my bookshelves and I am going to mention Cuentos de la Periferia by Sean Osher, um, edited by Barbara Fiore. This one is actually a picture book. I saw, I loved the, the cover. People prefer oversaturated design, but simple editorial design is so elegant. And this one I fell in love with as soon as I saw it. And I love the cover, but as I said, all of the editorial design of the book is beautiful, absolutely beautiful and elegant. I have, haven't have read it. At the time I bought it, I didn't consider um, picture books for reading. That's something that changed when I started um, watching booktube. So I, I bought it mainly because I wanted to have that beautiful book in my bookshelf. And there is an indulgence that I allow myself very, um, um, very few times, as I said, because of budget reasons. And I think I bought that one in college and I thought I'm going to start a picture book, book collection for myself of beautifully designed books. But those are very expensive, so I think I don't have many of, of those. Question number two, a book you want to buy that has a beautiful cover. And there are many, of course, and there are many that I have already read, but maybe I read them in audiobook or in, on my Kindle, and I would love to have them physically because of the cover. But to be realistic, um, that is not going to happen because if I'm going to buy a book and let go of that budget, then it's going to be a book that I haven't already read. So I'm going to mention a book that I haven't yet read and that I would like to read. So it's not only that the cover is beautiful, but that the, the premise sounds amazing. It's about art students and that's pretty much all I need to <laughs> all I need to know. And it's called Painting Time by Maylis de Kerangal. Uh, question number three is your favorite series design. Uh, for the ones that I own, my favorite definitely is the Lord of the edition of the Lord of the Rings that I have, um, the English edition. I also own a Spanish edition, one that I was the one I read when I was 12, but I wanted an English edition to read in its original language, and I love the covers and the whole box set of, of that um, edition. Then number 
for is a dust jacket, a book with a beautiful dust jacket or something unexpected under the jacket. I don't know if this counts as unexpected, but I love my copy of Dragon Mage that or, uh, from M. L. Spencer. I haven't read that one yet, but that is one of my 2022 books that I want to read. But what I love about it is that under the dust jacket, the naked hardback has the exact same design as the dust jacket. So if you have just the hardback alone, it is beautifully designed um, and I know I, I really like that that I actually have it on my bookshelf without the dust jacket because I prefer how it looks um, the cover printed onto the naked hardback question number six a beautiful paperback and uh, for this one I'm going to go with my edition of Middlemarch by George Eliot it is a beautiful paperback uh, edition it has gold foiling it has the ledges and the illustration on the cover is very beautiful question number five naked hardback a gorgeous book with no dust jacket so I already mentioned how um, the naked hardback for um, dragon mage is beautiful but for this one I definitely want to talk about I wonder by Marian Banshees this is one of uh, these other types of books that I bought not for reading but I bought it because it's beautiful and not only is the naked hardback beautiful but the inside is beautiful as well Marianne Banshees is a graphic designer and I actually found out about this book from a design podcast called Design Matters with Debbie Millman that I listened to in university. Uh, me and, and my friends and the director of our uh, program at university, we were all fans of Debbie Millman and we loved her podcast and on one of her episodes she interviews another graphic designer that talks about this book by Marian Banshees and they talk about the process of how she designed it and all um, this is the opposite of all uh, of the what I'm talked about about the elegant white editorial design this is the opposite this is like a super super baroque design uh, but I love it and I remember uh, hearing the podcast when I was in university and then uh, going online to see if I could order the book and it was available and I was so excited and so I bought it and I have never read it I am curious about reading it, it it's like I think it's like a type of um, memoir type book but honestly I bought it just because it's so so gorgeous then question number six is a beautiful paperback I think I switched the question somewhere along uh, but I already answered that one it's Middlemarch my edition of Middlemarch and then question seven a non-fiction book with a lovely cover for that one I'm going to go with Mad and Bad Real Heroines of the Regency by Bea Koch um, I really love that type of cover maybe it's overused at this point the classical painting with the graffiti on top but I don't care if it's overused or not. I love that. I love how it looks. It looks so cool. Uh, and the neon pink. I really love it. Uh, question number eight. A book with great end papers. And uh, for this one I have to mention Letters from Father Christmas by J.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, which I featured in my most recent reading vlog. Um, and if, if you can see the end papers are just pictures from all of the letters on the inside and they are absolutely beautiful question number nine a book that looks just as gorgeous spine out as it does face out and that definitely is children of ash and elm a history of the vikings by neil price this book was such a surprise to me in terms of its beauty because i mean you see the picture of the cover and it looks nice but when you receive the book which I ordered not because of the cover but because I wanted to read it and then when it got here I was in shock at how beautiful how gorgeous this book is it's super chunky hardback which just out of the gate I love a super chunky book um, but it's so, the, the cover is lovely the, the feel of the cover the paper is so gorgeous but the question is about the spine if you turn it around 
the spine is beautiful it it kind of resembles like an old edition of these old encyclopedias um but also with gold foiling i, I can i think you can see it over there on my shelf <sighs> I was so happy that I ordered the hardback because it's so beautiful, you guys. And uh, finally, as always, uh, the, the final question is to tag some friends. And again, <laughs> if you are watching this, consider yourself tagged. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow with another tag video. In the meantime, happy reading.